I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck no more. Get out fucking video! A fucking 16 year old kicks your fucking ass. Go. Fucking pathetic Go ass away bitch. from me. Please, leave. Call the fucking cops, bruh. Call the fucking cops. I don't give a fuck. Leave, please. You know I don't give a fuck. You do, so stop being so crazy. Oh, I do, huh? I do, huh? So stop. Look, please, now leave. Home. Get out of my face, fuck please. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. Please. Fuck you. Please. Fuck you. Alright, let me go. I'm taking a shower. I don't give a fuck. Please. You ain't go. taking shit. Just please. You ain't taking shit. Come on. You ain't taking shit. Damn. What? Push him out. No. Yeah, push me out, pussy. Just go. Push me out, pussy. Push me out, pussy. Go. Push me out, pussy. Grab your stuff and go to mom's. Go. Go in my bathroom. Push, push yeah, me out, pussy. I'm not gonna Oh Get it rolling. He's acting crazy. I'm acting crazy. He's just a bitch. You ain't taking shit, nigga. I told you that. Fuck Please ass, nigga. Fuck ass, nigga. Fuck you. Put your motherfucking dukes up. Disrespectful ass young nigga. Get him up! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Bitch-ass nigga. Good night. Hey guys. You just saw those two videos. Every one of you should aspire to be a father like a father in the second video. Every one of you. I'm like that guy. I'm him. He's me. The first video should have angered you tremendously as a mother or a father and especially as a father. These things are happening today because number one, we're being bombarded by bad people that are in leadership positions uh, in schools, in colleges, in health care, and in politics. Politics have installed these people in the first three venues. So it's a cultural and establishment uh, working together in very evil things. And most of these people have no idea. Most of your educators have no idea. Uh, most of your healthcare professionals have no idea. And your politicians or your educators have no idea. And the politicians do have an idea. I truly believe these people that are pushing and peddling gender and uh, getting in your way of disciplining your kid. And here's what it's created. Out of every bad, and I'm speaking for the boys now, but I could say daughters in this just as well. But out of every bad boy, a disrespectful punk uh, that I see today has had one of a couple to a few things produced this bad kid. Uh, One, number one problem, is a system geared up telling mothers that, hey, it's great, make it alone. You know, mama can be mama and daddy. 
a single woman's grave, and it's not a married woman's grave, a married man's grave, a single dad is not. This is all evil things designed to pull on your heartstrings, your emotions, and it's sickening. Uh, nobody talks about a good mom and dad that live together any longer. Isn't that amazing? It's just the exception to the rule of a single mom or a single dad. But in every one of these situations, you will find a woman stopping a man uh, through the legal system and cultural systems that aid and abet her in doing so, stop the dad from disciplining his boy. Uh, another issue is weak fathers, fathers that have been, daddies that have been raised by a woman and they haven't had a strong male influence in their life. Uh, and that's truly sickening. Truly sickening. Uh, these men are that are daddies feel beat down uh, and feel like they can't do anything or they weren't the ones that want to do something uh, don't have the courage to do it. I'd go to jail in a second to discipline my son to do what's right for him that he may walk on. And we don't have fathers that, that strong much anymore. There's a lot out there, but they would be the minority. They'd be the minority. And There's several other issues, but another big issue is this. People are overindulging in eating and eating bad things. Uh, they're trying to eat their way into comfort. Uh, people take pills to be calm. Uh, people drink to escape. Uh, people smoke to go into a fantasy world. Another form of escape. And typically that I've seen in my quite a few years on this earth is the ones that are doing the latter two things. Uh, they're very good heart. They start out as very good hearted, tender people and they just can't cope with this evil world. But the only escape you're going to get is with Jesus Christ. The, the only calmness you're going to get is with Jesus. Uh, the only fantasy filled wonderful dreams that you can have are with Jesus. The only sustenance that is the wonderful healthiness for you is Jesus Christ. And that's the fundamental breakdown in all of it here. And there's no other religion, no other belief thing. To, and I'm not talking about religion. There's no other God to worship in that will give you all those things. You look at other gods, they make you, they want you to go to war and you get, get to have concubines or prostitutes as a reward. 
others make you sit and tell you to sit and squat and meditate yourself into somewhere else that doesn't exist. Where you, and you, you get nothing done and solve absolutely nothing. The only way to get your problem solved is through Christ. The only sustenance you need is through Christ. Uh, the only drink you need to take is in Christ. And that's a big thing that's tearing both moms and dads down. Uh, I'm going to give you a little story here. Uh, back several years ago, I believe Joe may have been nine or ten. Little kids walking down the street <coughs> in front of the house, and he stops and talks to Joe. They go to the same school together, same age group uh, the kid looks back and he sees me and he asks he asked Joe my son Joe is that your granddad Joe goes no that's my dad and Joe came back and he told me that and even at a young age Joe was a fighter and he was like I didn't know it's I almost belted this kid and I'm like Joe don't do that don't do that. Uh, and Joe had just been put, uh, he was in military school at the time, and the uh, school, school year had just started. He had never been to military school before. And I believe we were about two to two and a half weeks in. And uh, Joe was such a shining light that they make him, and I don't know the, the word, I can't remember the words that they use here uh, for it, but I'm going to say commandant of the fourth grade. He was in the fourth grade. And, uh, you know, these kids have been in military school the whole time, uh, all their grades. And, uh, you know, the first through up and in, in going into the fourth, and Joe had just went into military school in the fourth. And he was shining like a superstar. And later on, Joe was thinking about that. He's like, you know, I was right up in this military school. And within a couple of weeks, I'm put in control. I'm, I'm the commandant of the fourth grade. And he was like, this is because of you, Dad. And later on, he... Uh, has expressed to his mother and I that he is so glad that, as he says it, that Daddy wait, waited to have him because he's thoroughly convinced as well as I am if I would have been 26 and had him, it would have been him. What's on the inside of the package would have been him. And I'm convinced of that too. And I'm convinced of that because for many years I prayed, uh, Lord, let me have a, a little boy and that he be like my daddy who died when I was a little boy. And he's that guy. Beautiful gift from God. And I've been very blessed. And I just see these mothers and these fathers, these mothers uh, wanting to command and be king of their house. And I look at them and I think, foolish, foolish woman. You're destroying those whom you, you think you love, but you are blinded by a false love. Foolish woman. I look at these dads who are weak and who, who coddle to the fear of government, society, culture, or their wife, and don't stand up and take control of their households. And their children. You see, the natural order is God, the daddy, the mama, and then the kids. And there is no other order that ever has worked in the history of mankind. And there's no other order that ever will work. That that fantasy of breaking that 
natural order that God gave up is as stupid and as ignorant and feeble-minded as a fifth grade little boy being encouraged to believe he's a little girl in school or vice versa, a girl or boy. The sickness uh, that's going on in this world. You need to stay away from it. You need to steer clear from it. My biggest advice to, to any of you dads out there is to remember this. Anything can be repaired and fixed between you and your children. Get to fix them. Get to fix them. Uh, don't worry about the government. Don't worry about the school system. Don't worry about the state. They are evil and they are not going to promote anything good or decent for this world or for you, most importantly, for your children. Step up to the plate and get to fixing, no matter how long it takes. You may have a 12-year-old kid. Get to fixing. It may, it may be when they're 22 years old, they start really respecting you, but it'll happen, and you got to be patient, but you got to get to working. And if you follow things under a biblical way, and first you got to learn the biblical way, and I'll give you something you don't know in the biblical way. Be hard on your boys. They had them boys out there wrestling and tussling around in biblical times uh, to set the... Uh, there was always a firstborn thing that was very special and still is today but and should be continued today and uh, coddling of the babies of the family uh, and you have to show extra attention to the baby because typically they can be picked on by the older kids and things of that nature but in the Bible, they were rustling, tussling with their kids. They had their kids doing pretty violent sport things on a constant basis to toughen their boys up. Just go read. Go read. Uh, that's God's way. And you never hear that anymore. Uh you you know the Roman soldier uh, as God is walking on earth he turns and he, he tells everybody I tell you the truth this Roman soldier this man has more faith than anybody I've met here on earth it is him it was the strong man the fighter the fighter. I am blessed and I am so lucky because I discipline Joe. A lot of people think by watching our videos here that I'm on his ass all the time and nothing can be further from the truth uh, at all. Um, I don't have to be on him. See, because I started early. He's 15 now. Zero trouble as a teenager so far and and the fact is here when he's 16 17 18 20 there will be zero trouble with him then see those are the promises god lays out for daddies if they discipline their kids in a good correct way and do the right things with those kids See, it ain't rocket science here. So you don't have to have no psychology or sociology degree. As a matter of fact, you need to run from those lunatics. And you just need to do what's right. And even those of you that don't believe, you have a form of godliness in you. Even the evil ones know that are walking around here today. Uh... Every man knows deep down in his heart. Yeah, I better be careful. There's penalty to pay here. It's just some don't care. 
and are willing to pay the penalty. But everybody knows there's a penalty. Everybody knows how how this works. It's uh, I got to do is cut a TV set on. I'm so sick of hearing about kids going into school with a knife or a gun and wreaking havoc. Uh, young kids, uh, boys and girls, getting in fist fights and in some cases beating up their teachers. It wouldn't happen would see if if my kid was in your kid's school and your kid was one of these bad kids, your kid would be neutralized just like that. I don't care how tough and street game you think your kid is. And as far as it relates to boxing, I had a guy tell me, uh, a group of guys tell me, as a matter of fact, that, that I know more in my little uh, pinky nail here about boxing that they know in their whole body. And that's what was so offensive about it. But I corrected them. They said, only these kids that had grew up on the wrong side of the track and didn't have a dad, they're the ones that'll be great. You, you can't produce a great fighter with a dad around, with a, a, an intact mom and dad. And I said, like, you, you foolish people. You foolish people. You got that totally in reverse. Totally in reverse. So even in sport, the confusion and chaos in the brain uh, from other sport people, uh, that chaos and confusion is just abounds because you're being bombarded with it from the outside in. And don't fall for it. It's all lies. And I'll call it what it is. It's lies from Satan and satanic forces. And we all know who it is. We, we all know where it comes from. It comes from those lying, stinking, dirty, rotten liberals who hate God. And they work, they, they work and worship everything evil. Every stance they take is evil. Let's kill more babies. Have more single moms. Tell everybody to be free in sex and kill more babies. That's the, that's the solution. Make everybody, just tell everybody, do anything you want to do. Right? That's what's made the homo thing be okay. And these people, every, you know it, everybody knows it, homos know it. They're more promiscuous than any other group around now, always have been, because they're driven uh, by their desires. And uh, it's just as plain as the nose on your face. It's out there. And uh, when, when, when you start saying it's okay, all oh, your desires are okay, you're okay, you're fine. It always breaks down society. And America and Great Britain just might as well pack the suitcase up and find somewhere else to go because if we continue to allow this liberal doggedness, this dirty, rotten, satanic scoundrel of people to continue ruling us and dictating our policies, uh, we're, we're just, it's just going to get worse in the Western world. You look over there at Russia, you know, love or hate Russia, you got a president that at least, even if it's just show, goes into church every Sunday, films himself getting down on his hands and knees in front of the altar so his people can see it, condemns all this bad, promiscuous stuff, tells dads to correct their children in whatever means necessary that their kids ain't on the streets. Twelve years ago, the cop, the police came to uh, my daughter's school and they said, first thing that what the guy did, he pulled his belt off. He said, if you don't use this, we'll use these later. And he held up handcuffs and then pulled up a billy stick. So boy, that wouldn't happen in a school today for a million years in that such short period of time. 
So get to thinking, dads. Get to fixing. I hope God shines on every broken father and mother and uh, shows you that there's another way, that, that there is peace, there is hope, there is calmness. But it's only through Jesus Christ. You can't get that at a psychiatrist's office. You can't get it through a pill. Uh, you can't get it through street drugs or alcohol. You're only going to get that peace through Jesus Christ. And uh, I guarantee you, I've seen that. I'm old. I've seen everybody do everything. And am wondering and still in that misery of I can't get anything fixed. And uh, it's because the, the, these people weren't going to the right one to fix it. They were going to everybody who's who's really working for evil. So blessings to all my Christian brothers and sisters and to everybody else. I hope that you start seeking God's blessings.